line. Can we get the line cutter? No, yeah, we got a line cutter up front. Yeah, a line yeah. cutter with yeah. a generous we got a, donation. We're we've got a reward. VIP, Bind Street, Highland, Illinois. Did he say anything? Nope. That is all. Oh, yeah, you said, uh, should I buy it? He's considering he buy buying it. it. Okay, let's, let's see. Should he buy it? Active. Built in 1940, so underneath this vinyl siding is something might be better. So when you go look at this house, what you should do is you should peel the vinyl siding away and just take a peek under there. Just see what's underneath there. It might be something okay. The roof looks like it was replaced. It might have been stripped down to, to nothing, but double check. Should he buy this? Hmm, 169. Ooh. Nice. Good enough. Good enough. Dry. Chad Pretty Wolf, welcome yeah. to Severe Beast. And GGR, welcome to Severe Beast, both of you. So I'm going to do something I, I don't always do because I... Four days on, so it's a buck sixty-nine. So it's a cheap house. You're not going to get fucked at twelve hundred bucks in this house. I don't know what rent is. Is could you rent this house out for? I like the four-bedroom count on this for a possible rental down the road. There's sort of an underdeveloped backyard, which should be, should be nice. I would incorporate all this. The inside, I wouldn't touch anything. I would leave it at renter grade. It's fine. It's fine. It's cheap. It looks like it's a two-family. My buddy lived in one of these. The one friend that I talked about a couple of weeks ago that bought his starter home and has lived in it. This is almost the exact same house. It's a really small second floor apartment. Is it considered a two family legally? He paid about that and it was built in the 40s. Two bed, one bath. Is it a two unit? Yeah, okay, this is the same thing. Like kind of a small duplex where it's not really a duplex, it's just kind of a small extras for the, yeah, this is a buy. This, you'll be fine with this, man. You'll get 500 bucks for the upstairs if you've got a boy who's in trouble. I did used to rent mine to my friends who were going through it for 500 bucks or 600 bucks. I would rent my place out cheap. Uh, even though it didn't make sense. So uh, yeah, I like it. As long as uh, you, the, there's no major water in that. Like look, look at the foundation twice. It looked like it had a crawl space in it. Um, just double check right here for me. Just take a screwdriver with you, a long metal screwdriver. And once you go ahead and give these stones in here a wiggle, fucking stab right into those things, wiggle them. Make sure this motherfucker's not coming down and then look at the, the wood that's above that on the stone. When you like stab the fucking, when you look at the basement, you look at where the wood meets the concrete, like. Like, look at everything around it kind of close. Make sure the fucking thing's not, like, rotted or there's no, like, evidence of water or shit like that. Make sure this concrete wasn't there, put there to, to cover something, to stutter. Um, but other than that, honestly, everything looks up to snuff. And uh, it looks like it was built to be rental forever. So um, the guy's probably trying to, maybe he's not. It's not styled, like, a, by a sharp person. So um, go for it! One 1929 Ooh. 4th Street. Sandusky, Ohio. It's contingent, so I'm guessing you might have just picked this up. Now, this is the beige Corolla of houses right here, my friend. That's what this is. This is the 2006 sand beige Toyota Corolla of houses. Real quick. World Cure, I got you, man. You're in queue. Um, a flipped house with a little backyard that hasn't been done yet. Um, I don't hate it. It's a Now, if you know me, you know I like beige Corollas. Um, 128 grand. It's not knocking your socks off. But I want to know what this is all about. What body of water is it near? And it doesn't look like it's like that packed. So where the fuck are we here? Out in Sandusky, the good old boys in Sandusky, Ohio. Yeah, why not? Looks like a nice, nice place to live. Is, that a is it in a flood zone? That would be my only, my only question for you. Does it get flooded? Um, so double check on that, and if not, I don't, I don't hate it. You put a little backyard in. Again, you paint that vinyl siding. What I like about small houses for this guy, just so you guys know, you can do this door up, and you can do this window up really nicely, and you can change this, like, siding schematic very cheaply. Like, extremely fucking cheap. Like, like $3,500, and, like, this thing, this place looks like a, like, if it was in a, a certain part of the world, it would be, like, a 500 and 600 grand. So just keep that in mind. That's why I like small houses. Not a lot of windows, not a lot of siding, not a lot of doors. And, and the fixes are sort of cheap. So um, you got high horsepower when you're doing your renos there. Um, so good luck if you just bought that. Courthouse Drive. Have you ever seen an address like this? What does yeah. That mean? Yeah, MLS number. Okay. Interesting way to do it. Thank you. Thank you, Chinese robots. <laughs> fucking gleaning us for information. Now this, 
This fucking dead up steel this motherfucker found. I can tell without even looking at it with for two seconds. This guy bought this house for $150,000 in February of 21. Is that, is that COVID? I don't even remember. Who cares? Um, it's worth 201, but to all, to, to those who know, it's worth all the money right in a quaint hometown main street and somewhere in who gives a fuck Vermont. Um, just a neglected house with ugly ideas from a fish fan that thought it was a good idea to paint everything, paint maroon everywhere with um, found materials. So this is a repop stove. She could have got the real one. And the reason why I say she is because no one's this stupid. <laughs> I like this house. It just has, but this is really nice. This is super nice. This trim paint is god awful. This color colorway is a fucking nightmare. We expected that. We have mismatched cabinets. We have a corner cabinet that doesn't match the Lazy Susan that matched all these. These were all bought at a builder surplus place, and then they couldn't find this double oven unit, so they had to switch that again. They could have did it right if they just switched all the doors to match, but no big deal. They're selling the house for $150,000. They don't owe you anything. The floors look like, like they were refinished by a fucking ger a pile of German shepherds scratching their claws on this thing. Um... Uh, yeah, this is a fuck. Oh, we ran out of tile, so we'll just put mosaic underneath the fucking toilet. Good, uh, good idea, you fucking idiot. Um, but nice enough. Honestly, this house is kind of built really well. We got Illuminati floor, as we see. We got a uh, LeBron James Blaze Pizza Illuminati floor. Well, look at this. Look at fucking this window right here. Isn't that special? Hi, everybody. It's a Willy Wonka house. It's just like, it's so incredible. I've seen that a few times. Just like fucking dummy shit. Um, nice crafts room with real beadboard. A nice wiring. Looks like it was done by a schizophrenic meth addict, but it is on breaker, so it was updated. Good for them. Actually, this has, this has one flat. They never show the fucking basement, right? Victorians, they never show. How many times in this fucking, on this program do we see Victorians where they don't show the fucking... Not only do they show it, it's wonderful. So kudos to you. This is nice. This is a good way to do it. They painted the board black. They got all the zone valves all nicely. Everything's accessible. Obviously the water right below, it's not what you want to see, but it's a fucking stone foundation. The fucking house is 250 years old. What do you expect? So eventually they're gonna have to cut a hole there and pump that out of there. It's not as crazy as it sounds. Sugma got you, by the way, man. You are in good hands. Whoa! What the fuck is this? Is a jail? And damn the man with the five. Thank you, sir. Whoa! Wow. That was really unexpected. You got Green Mile in this fucking backyard. <laughs> so why is there a jail there? Well, it's because it's Vermont. If anybody knows anything, Vermont was the south of the north. If anybody knows Vermont, anything about Vermont and its politics, it's the south of the north. We don't do that kind of stuff around here. This stuff is offensive to me. Cause I know what it I know what it stands for. Unlawful incarceration, yeah. I like how they left it like a. Uh, damn, the fucking pigeon lady from uh, Home Alone Two was living in there. She was doing an OnlyFans in there, <laughs> ramming sunflower seeds up her ass. <laughs> they never paid me enough. John Hughes ripped me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pigeon lady complaining about how much money she got for Home Alone Two while rubbing sunflower seeds up her ass on her OnlyFans. <laughs> saying Macaulay Culkin was a weirdo if you knew him. Damn, there's a jail cell on it. What a great house. Man, that's fucking great. I mean, all you got to do is take the, you can take those cells out and you could sell those for like, I don't know, 500 bucks a door. Those like wrought iron. So you just get the spooky shit out of that. All the uh, fucking wet, black haired, six-year-old girl crawling out of a well spirits out of that fucking house but um other than that nice buy well you're giving up utility i think it's worth more than 500 a door to have a working jail in your house i don't know man you ever you ever been to jail no but oh it's hell on earth never been but uh oh god that's why you want one no to, to make people fear They're i wouldn't wish in my that house <laughs> don't don't get too drunk yeah in don't my house man you're going oh, you're gonna downstairs go to the, to the you jail. You want to go to the jail? Do you want to go to the jail? <laughs>